Okay, everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, we're going to be smoking <clears throat> a blunt and putting together it's like a rolling thing I got from Target. And at the same time, we're going to be watching Jeffree Star's video that they just dropped called Doing What's Right, and I'm going to be reacting to it. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Now, I've been silent for a very long time. A very long time. I know that's very rare for me. I've taken a lot of time to do a lot of self-reflection. Now, in the past, I've been very guilty of speaking out of anger, out of frustration, out of my emotions. I'm so quick to grab my phone and just say whatever is on my mind in that moment without ever really thinking the ramifications of my words, my actions, and for the first time in a... And you're an adult, isn't that crazy? In a very long time, I'm, ref I'm really reflecting on my behavior and mine alone. And I've come to a lot of realizations and it's been really important to actually understand everything that I was a part of, that I did wrong, um, and really start a new chapter for myself. I've spent a lot of time realizing why I do certain things and why I do the things that I do. And today, there are no excuses. Um, a year ago, I did a video called Never Doing This Again, and I meant that. And he still did it again, more than once. And 2020 has been really, really crazy, and I have added to the chaos. When I filmed my video called Never Doing It Again, I meant every word in the video. Did I slip up? Am I human? Have I done some fucked up things? Of course I have. That's not, a, I mean, I mean, I know it's like, yeah, people grow and stuff like that, but instead of like doing anything about it, you decided to party with Black China. So it's like, huh? But at the end of the day, today, once again, I will not be exposing anyone. For everyone saying Jeffrey's gonna be coming with the receipts and we all need to be, be, get ready to forgive, that is the opposite of who I am. I know I'm dramatic, I'm crazy at times, I'm outspoken, but at the end of the day, that is not who I am. And today I will not be sitting here showing a million text messages and all, all these things that allegedly are out there. That, that's not it. I will not be entertaining it. My lawyers are entertaining it behind the scenes, but I will not be. I know this may sound shocking coming from my mouth, but when you accept that you are the problem, you can become the solution. And I've definitely put myself... Okay, he's accepted that he is the problem like a couple times though, and he's never become the solution. So like, he better be coming with some shit that makes sense, because so far he hasn't, and it's only a minute and 57 seconds in. I put myself in the victim mentality before when I knew I was wrong and maybe, not maybe, I didn't want to admit it, I wasn't ready to and I was too insecure. But today, there are no excuses. I'm someone that has impulse control and I'm fully admitting my flaws and I hope that people can learn from me. I have moments where I get fired up, I don't think things through, I don't think about how my actions will affect others while I'm saying them. And when you speak from your emotions without fully processing something, it is one of the most unhealthy things and that is a very major problem of mine. A lot of people want me to address this situation. And a lot of people were putting a time stamp, like, Jeffrey, you need to speak on this right now. And I think that we live in a world where people are just so used to doing what people want right away, and that's not good either. I think it's been very important to stay. <clears throat> it's not like it's what people want right away. It's not good. You sh Apologizing for being an awful human being shouldn't be what people want. It should be something that you should be able to do without people asking, but he can't. This video wouldn't have been made if he didn't get called out. So it's like... Off of social media, I haven't been on in weeks. I haven't read anything, I haven't clicked a video, I haven't seen anything. And it's been really about finding myself again and remembering why I'm here and, and how my actions can affect other people and everyone around me. I know there's a lot of people waiting for me to address the situation. Now, I didn't try to take anyone down. I'm not a villain in a movie. This isn't a Netflix series with a crazy storyline. I know it sounds like it, and trust me, I'm sure I'd watch it as well, but this is my real life and a lot of things that are happening and being said are false. When someone else tries to take 
someone else down or their career and it doesn't work, you can't just take a few more down with you. That's not how life works. We have to all take accountability for our own actions and no one else's. And that's He is being, he knows that he's using very specific words on purpose. Like he's doing that because he doesn't want anybody to think he's saying anything else. And he's still saying some kind of fucked up shit. Like I know there's, there's his own actions and like, he, I know he's throwing shade because he's like saying that other people are blaming him and saying that they didn't have any actions like um, Tati. But, okay, I need to see where this is going. This is only a 10 minute apology, so let's see. That's what I will continue to do. And if I don't, please fucking remind me. Now I know that I've had a very hard time doing that in the past. Please fucking remind me like people haven't been reminding you all week. Okay, anyway. And that will not be happening again. Now, did I mix myself up in drama? Did I speak on things I shouldn't have sp uh, speak on? Of course I did. Did I believe certain things instead of asking the source? Did I get caught up in the hype? Did I do dumb shit? And did I not just simply call James Charles and ask questions myself? 100%. And that is my fault. I would like to personally apologize to James Charles for the words that I've said and for my actions. If I was really close with someone, I should have had the ability to just simply call them and ask and say, hey, these were the things that were being said to me. Instead, I didn't. I let people really gas me up, get me going behind the scenes, and I really- He's literally reiterating exactly what Tati said. So like, what's the truth? Because Tati said that people were gassing her up and telling her lies behind the scenes, but she was saying that Jeffrey and Shane were doing that, like Jeffrey is saying that people were doing that to him. Who are those people? I know he probably just wanna throw them under the bus, but it's like, who are those people? Because you were the source of it all, allegedly. Allegedly fell for a lot of things and I got caught up in the hype. It's disgusting, it's awful, and none of it should have happened. So James, I am truly sorry for my actions and my behavior. 2020 has been very tumultuous for a lot of us. It has been a very crazy year. And I think that James and myself and anyone involved would agree with me that there are way bigger issues happening on this planet. I know that some- Let's not deter from what the issue is right here. We all know, we all know, we all see, we all see. We all know that there are bigger issues going on right now, but the issue that you need to address when it comes to this is this. Don't try to try to change the subject by being like, but there's bigger issues. We know, we're not fucking stupid, we know. We can worry about more than one thing at a time. It's not like we're worrying about this, we just wanna see what's going on. I'm just a nosy ass bitch. Capricorn Sun, Scorpio Moon, Gemini Rising. I'm a nosy ass bitch. Like, sorry. Not really. So this has nothing to do with the bigger problems outside. This is just, there are bigger problems and then there's this, which isn't even like a problem. We just want to hear what you have to say. At least I do. Since Jeffree Star was my very first concert. People may, Jeffree, you're just saying this as a distraction. Jeffree, you, no. Reality is here and makeup, drama, and beauty community gossip and tea it may be entertainment for you and it used to be for me but it's my life and it's their lives and right now outside of our walls our world is falling apart and it's truly shocking so i'm not going to give you an expose of the beauty community if our world's falling apart then why aren't you posting about it more why aren't you saying anything about it more why like don't try to bring that up now like it's been going on it's been a thing you're just now saying this okay I'm assuming he'll mention something about the racism accusations and all the shit that he said and how what he said still wasn't okay no matter about his shitty ass apology. I'm not going to end anyone today. I've never blackmailed anyone in my life. I've never committed a crime before and I've never been to jail. Um, it's been... He's never blackmailed anyone in his life, Mara. Hard to process a lot of what is being said, but involving the situation I would just like to say that James Charles, I'm very sorry. Anything else that you guys wanna know, it will never be spoken about. You can ask other people. I, just like last year, have fully removed myself. And did I get swept up into the bullshit again? Of course I did. And for that, I'm forever embarrassed of. Now- You say just like last year, you fully removed yourself, but you literally didn't. You're the one who said that you have all this. Okay. Anyway, people have already talked about it. Like. 
Anyway. Breonna Taylor still has no justice. Black trans women are being murdered every day and the news is silent. Elijah McClain has no justice and the countless other people who are murdered every single day while everyone just goes about their business like nothing's happening. And I think that drama and the beauty world, which I have definitely been a part of, it all has to stop. Now, six months ago before COVID and everything hit our world, it Are you posting about those people? It was such a different place for all of us and including myself. Already hanging out with Black China. Well, if it's really time to reflect on the big picture. Now, Shane Dawson. He is one of my best friends and someone who helped me remember who I am when I was starting to crack and lose focus of who I really was. He is genuine, amazing, he is selfless, and he is one of the most kind people that I've ever met in my entire world. I know that Shane would put his family and friends before himself in a flash. Now, did Shane and I get caught up in the drama and do some dumb shit? Of course we did, but that is my best friend and I was actually truly shocked that people thought that I was going to distance myself from him or that my silence was anything but support. I know Shane from now. I don't know Shane from 10 years ago and he doesn't know me from 10 years ago. Now, do I agree with Shane's past actions? Of course. I know why would you be shocked that your silence is anything but support as a people who have been marching and protesting and posting about the people that you just mentioned, like Elijah McClain, Breonna Taylor, like they've been talking about how silence is compliant. So how are you shocked that your silence sounded like you didn't give a shit? Of course I don't. And does he agree with my past behavior? Of course he doesn't. I know the amazing person that he is today and you don't abandon your friends. I know a lot of people have said, Jeffrey, you've had a lot of tumultuous friendships in the beauty world. Yes, I 100% have, but in reality, I have a lot of amazing real people behind the scenes, and I'm forever grateful for those people who always remind me of who I am, because lately, I definitely was slipping. Now, what me and Shane accomplished together, business-wise, I hope that it inspires anyone out there that wants to start a business, that is an entrepreneur, or who is afraid to get off their feet. Because remember, I used to be homeless and work at the mall. <laughs> and I really just said, you know what? I wanna create my own vision, and that's what I did. And he has always believed in me. All right, now, no matter what narrative anyone tries to spin of me, I am so fucking proud to own an inclusive makeup company. Since I opened my doors in 2014, I have created products for everyone. Any product, shade, or formula I've- What? What? Created has worked for any race, gender, and most importantly, I want you guys to remember that all beauty matters. And from the very first ad of my company, I have always shown people of color and anyone, no matter what size your body are or what gender you are, you are accepted in Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I know a lot of people try to deter from my message and sometimes I've deterred it myself through negativity and drama, but that won't be happening anymore. I will always use my platform and my voice for good. Now, I remember when brands were making 10 concealers and 15 foundation shades. Okay, if you're saying that's, if you're saying that's not gonna be happening anymore, you have, you have to stick to that. Like, you can't just say that again, that you're not gonna do something that you did and then do it, like putting yourself in drama. You can't, like you have to stick with what you just said. It's, and they thought that that was correct. I remember speaking up very loudly to my peers and other people in this industry saying that it was wrong and I got a lot of shit for it but I always stick up for what's right and I always will. When huge corporations have stolen from small brands, I was the first one to speak up very loudly. Now sometimes it can be misconstrued for drama or tea or being sarcastic, but the message was always that no, you have to do right in this industry. And that's what I'll always stand by. Now I just wanna say thank you to everyone out there who has been supporting me, DMing me, messaging me, and just showing so much love. I know that sometimes it's not popular to be a fan of me, to be my friend, but it has been so much for all the ride or dies and the millions of people who have just been waiting for me to come back. Um, just know that it has been very important to actually self-reflect and not just grab my phone and say whatever I want. Waiting for me. Of course it's been so much for the people, your stands, the people who are gonna defend you if you literally decided to start posting pictures of yourself going hunting for game that was millions of dollars or thousands of dollars. I don't know, I don't hunt, so I don't know how much it is. I just know it's really expensive. Like, you know this, Jeffrey. 
Jeffrey, you mentioned one thing about Black Lives Matter and didn't even say Black Lives Matter and went right back into def I'm feeling in that moment. This has been me silent for a reason. I've been really, really working on myself. Um, and I definitely was distracted. There's also been a lot of things going on in my personal life, which will never be excuses, and I'm not gonna talk about them today, but just know that we're all human beings and we're all going through a lot. What is next? You guys know, Jeffree Star Cosmetics will never be slowing down, and I'm so excited for everything that is coming for the rest of 2020. I know that the makeup world is changing, the beauty community is shifting, and COVID has trans- you guys know Jeffree Star Cosmetics will never be slowing down. Gotta, gotta put in that promo as if people don't know that he owns Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Never slowing down. Are you gonna bring up the fact that your grandma's not 103 and that you posted a picture from January of this year? Because it's nine minutes and 58 seconds and the minute is 10 minutes and 36 seconds. So you got 38 seconds to tell me about your grandma those pictures. Um, of course, you're not going to talk about shit that you should be talking about that you decided to bring up and then smash. Like, you made it everybody else's business and then decided to stop talking about it as if it's nobody's business. Like, huh? It's formed our entire world. But what's coming next is one of my most exciting projects ever, and I can't wait. Um, August is going to be very exciting. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching and listening to my words, and thank you for allowing me to have time to articulate my thoughts and not just upload a video out of emotions. I will be back very soon with new videos, new makeup tutorials, and of course, new products. So thank you guys so much for watching this, and I will see you soon. Mwah. Bye, guys. Um, I mean, you guys heard my commentary through this, so essentially, I don't really know what the fuck that apology was. It wasn't an apology. I just felt like it was an explanation. I mean, yeah, he said sorry a couple times. You can say sorry a billion and a half times without meaning it. Like, I don't know. I want to know what you guys think, so let me know down below. Uh, I will, or you can message me on Instagram or Twitter, which is gonna be right here, near Mara. And yeah, um, I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye.